Hello everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy VI. It's been a while since I last recorded an episode. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I've kind of lost track of what we are what we're doing. However, I, uh, want to check up on Miranda. Uh, Miranda? Uh, <laughs> Uh, Miranda is a name in Swedish, uh, well, in Sweden, um, ladies' name. Um, it's, uh, it's a name in other places too, I know, just, um... <sighs> Miranda is not. That's all I want to say. I realize I don't have Shadow with me at this point, and uh, don't know when that is going to change. Um, I have to admit, I'm a little concerned, as it is. Hmm. Okay, I do have money to spend, uh, money that I could spend on some stuff. I hope we haven't, uh, like, <clears throat> met your son. What is going on here? Oh. You're arranging dog fights? They actually did this in Final Fantasy VI? Well. Um. If this is not something new they did just for this uh, remaster, which I honestly doubt. Well, um... Well, this game just... doesn't do political correctness. <laughs> A bit of a relief, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, this bird is a bit conspicuous. Also looks a lot like the one in, um, I think it is uh, To the Moon or Bird Story. Yeah, not Bird Story. It's a small um, RPG Mickey game um, that they can get, get on Steam for like something between uh, uh, nothing and a half penny. Um, uh, if you're into that sort of thing, you know. Uh, Recommendation. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is Lola. If you remember from... Um, was it Colingen? Yeah, I think it was Colingen. Uh, where uh, Locke's... Um, you know, uh... Younger crush. Hey. This is not the message I thought I'd. Uh, well, this is not what I see in IGN's guide here. Uh, oh, wait, no. Mobless. Mobless. Um, yeah, they listed here. Uh, she will be. A little more significant when we get around to uh, Cyan's side quest. But right now, we've done all we need to do over here. So, basically, that is what I missed before going into the Magitek factory and thing facility, thing in the bubber. And now I'm going to just, uh... Rush forward to the guide and on to the next stage, which is titled Black 
Jack Exploration 1. Let's get all that shit. Hmm. Oh yeah, we could go back to Tsen and buy that Magisite. If we had the money. We don't. Um, so that takes care of that, I guess. Uh, however, the belt. We can do a thing there. Uh, just gotta set up my party just so. Oh wait! Didn't I say I was, was I? Didn't I say I wasn't going to do this? Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, I I don't. Grinding from Gauss Rages are some of the freaking worst parts of the game, if you ask me. Uh, but yeah, that's just me. If you're into that, just uh, knock yourself out. I'm not. Okay, so what else can we do at this point? Go to the same by myself. I just said it's like 20,000, right? No! It's only 3,000. Oh, well, that puts a different spin on it. Um, right. <laughs> so there we go. Um, where was that again? Part on the southeast, right? Oh, almost overshot. No, this is all brook. That is not Zen. So, Zen would be on the north side. Hmm. We still haven't had any encounters. What is with this game? Ah, yes. You are not here. How dare you. Aha, uh -huh, you are there. Hmm. I actually don't think it's us where he's talking about, but <laughs> that could very well have been us. Decide for us. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> okay, well, th that was unintentional. But <laughs> oh, game, you slay me sometimes. Okay. Uh, we could go to the auction house, but I don't really think we have enough money to afford those things yet. I mean, there are the Golem and Soul Seeker Magicite. Uh, each of those costs at least 20,000, and uh, I now have 12,000. I'm not going to burn for money. At this point, well, not on camera anyway. Uh, so I'll just come back to take care of that when I'm a bit richer. Hmm. Okay, that is about rages. Hmm. Well, that is interesting. There are some enemies we can meet on the eastern continent that we can steal from. We kind of have luck at this point. Uh, you're talking. Oh, 
did they miss talking about this land once, isn't it? Ah, oh, Queen died. Okay, well, I'm going to give the old college a try. Just that loose, but you do have some very good healing spells. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll slap Seraph onto you. Setsu will be useful yet. Okay. Uh, well, he still have a thief thing, right? And the equipment. Let's see. Is this the encounter? Oh, yes, yes. It is the encounter. Uh. Bugger. Bad times. Oh, well, not so bad times. Okay. Uh, right. Oh, that's a rare steal. Okay, I'm going to try for two more encounters. If I don't get the uh, get the item in one of those, well, we'll just move on. I didn't check. So no, no. <laughs> so uh, if one doesn't know, I am looking for Gaia gear and golden armor. The enemy I just met, we are bit with this fucking fucking thing. Uh, it's supposed to give me. Uh, more than that. Kaya gear is what I'm looking for. Kaya gear is not what I'm getting, obviously. Oh, no, 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 no blitzing, no blitzing, just uh, friendly thievery. Can't sit around. Oh, hey! Rude. Uh, okay, well, we've got a high potion in the way. It's not half bad. Um, okay, well, that's all the time we're going to spend on this on camera. Okay, interesting to know. If you travel to Triangle Island, um, I should say, let's just go there right now so I can just show it off real quick. This one. We can meet something called an Intangir. Uh, it has 30,000 reports, but 32 to be exact. Um, Oh! Oh snap! They have fixed a strategy loophole. Oh, bugger me! I'm, I may be in trouble <laughs> later on again. Well, anyway, we're not landing here. We're not going to 
I mean, fight that enemy, I will be murdered. And I will be uh, unhappy. <laughs> Uh, yeah. It doesn't give experience points worth 10 magic points. Yeah, that's good. Um, so, yeah, what I was talking about the strategy being um, fixed. Uh, in the old version, when you cast Vanish. A specific on yourself, but also on enemies. Uh, you would have a 0% magic evade. That is to say, if anyone casts a spell on you, or if you cast a spell on a vanished enemy, it would hit with 100% accuracy. Uh, that apparently doesn't happen anymore. I know... I, uh, at least in the past, have relied on that for one enemy at some point, uh, possibly in the Odin side quest. Uh, that, that's the side quest that I <laughs> actually want to do. So, um, well, things are going to be interesting. I'm actually have to play this game the hard way. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Narsh. We've, we've done everything I'm going to bother doing right now. Which is far from everything you can do at this stage of the game. Hmm. Right, well, this stretch here reminds me of Dragon Quest VIII for some funny reason. Uh, Alright, we'll just touch down here. Enter Narsh, and I guess we'll be having some cutscenes at some point. Please? Yes, thank you. Free heals, yes. Oh, okay. That took me by surprise, maybe you can tell, but okay. Um got seen, here we go. Well, we got a couple of stones. Foreshadowing here. Uh, do you remember the backstory for um, the whole Summoners versus Machina war in uh, uh, Final Fantasy X? That's basically this. Now, canonically. I'm not aware of any link between Final Fantasy VI and Final Fantasy VII, but uh, I believe it was Yoshinori Kitase himself who came out and said that um, uh, Final Fantasy, that the Final Fantasy X Spira and Final Fantasy VII's Gaia are supposed to be in the same game universe. Um, I don't. I'm not quite sure if it meant that they are the same uh, physical planet. Um, but yeah. It is a little interesting that we have no obvious link to the Final Fantasy X world in Final Fantasy VII beyond the uh, shared name of Shinra. 
But here... This is very, very similar to the events described as the uh, root cause of the uh, a schism between uh, um, the summoners and the Bevel Temple and, well, that faith, whatever it's called, and the Albed. Uh, well, what became the Albed. Yeah. Well, ju just a just an observation. Yeah. Good luck with that, sir. Although you do have a magnificent beard, you must go a long way. Actually, I would disagree with that. I mean, if the espers are, you know, rational beings, and uh, we did see in the previous flashback that uh, they could communicate just fine with humans, so uh, Terra would not be crucial to this uh, endeavor. Though, to be fair, um, I don't think there's... I mean, I, I think the uh, experts will just <laughs> rightly throw every human they meet at other worlds just straight away, no questions asked. Terra is, of course, a little bit different. Right. Do this, everything will work out. If we do this, we can end all the wars. And that is never ever the case. Oh. Um, yeah, that is a hint about Morgan Umaro. Or Umaro? Uh, not going to pronounce him like that. Uh, pronounce his name like that. Mm. Mm. Okay. I was told that these shops would have new stuff for us, but um, apparently not the relic shop. Hmm. Interesting. now. Hopefully I will recruit Shadow soon. And I and in that case I will not just have wasted three thousand money. Also the uh, house over here that we visited for um, a lot of pressures a while ago. What's so holding you around now? Nice. I think walk through what say you. Ah, okay, so we're doing all this right now. Nice. Uh, 
also that's where the armor shop is. Golden shields, golden mail. Huh. Good deal. Straight on to seven. Huh. Uh, why do I have two thieves now? That's just a little excessive. This good, sir. My my. Why do you not have a, some kind of a hat on? Um, right, just random stuff. Fists right now. Not for now. And power sash. Oof. I pity the fool who meets this guy in the rock alley. just end the episode here. In the next one I uh, uh, follow Lone Wolf a bit further and we'll see if I catch him and how many more party members we get along the way. See you soon.